One thing many hospitals are doing now, they're integrating the arts. So many times in the past when people have talked about what then would have been called alternative medicine, it was like they were opposed to each other. Like you can have art or you can have science, take your pick. But now they've really come together and been integrated in a way that is very powerful. Most patients with cancer, the majority of them have some sort of psychological stress. Art therapy has positive effect on anxiety, pain, depression, and quality of life. A couple of weeks ago, they took my blood pressure, which was off the top, and everybody was really concerned. So they said to me, think about something peaceful, and Jen handed me another canvas. So I said, gee, why don't we paint a beach scene? I painted that, and you know what? My blood pressure went down. The idea that art making can be very therapeutic, using your hands, tapping into your creativity, providing a release, um, an opportunity to express yourself um, in itself can be very inspiring. It's not just drawing pictures or singing songs. There's literature out there that shows some correlation between the level of depression and survival. So if you can improve a patient's depression, there's a chance that you improve their survival. I like to title all my paintings. My first painting I titled uh, Things Cancer Can't Take Away From Me because it can't take away your, your love of life and of people. When people would talk about uh, the disease, they would say, you know, I would never wish this on my worst enemy. And yet, in a certain sense, I'm thankful because it's caused me to stop and to look and to appreciate the people around me, to appreciate my family. You got a saxophone? A lot of wisdom when you're looking at how long your time may be. Cancer, the Emperor of All Maladies, starts Monday, March 30th at 9, only on WOSU.